Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. That is the power of hype that when it is going around, everything which gets released has a name as per that hype. Look at this new tool called as a Reasoner Agent, which seems like a decent tool, but interestingly enough, the name not only includes agent, because apparently 2025 is the year of agents, but it also includes the name Reasoner. Now, we all know that with the advent of this deep seek model, everyone is talking about reasoning models and how this reinforcement learning is done and all that stuff. So pretty interesting. And I just wanted to make that observation. It's not a reflection on the project or anything like that. Now, what this agent or reasoner agent is doing, it is making a real time web search and then it is doing the research for you and returning the response back to you. It's a fully open source project, which is quite good. It doesn't work with open source uh, models, by the way. It only works with open AI's models. And that is via, uh, what we are going to check out after getting it installed locally. And then we will see how it does the research apparently. Now we all know that with the continual advancements in these LLMs, all of these intelligent agent systems have evolved a lot and we have been covering them on the channel for the last few months. These agents are capable of acting autonomously in browser environments, in computers and even in the physical worlds. We recently saw the Hugging Face Lee robot which have also um, released some of the really good models. Now agentic models such as Operator, Deep Research and the list goes on and on they have made significant improve, improvements over the last few months, I would say, but their training and implementation details are not always clear, which really hinders the effort. That is where they have developed this Reasoner agent, which is a fully open source agent that works out of the box without needing additional training or serving. Planning actions with simulation based reasoning using a world model instead of solely with LLM linear reasoning. This reasoner agent shows clear advantages compared to existing agents and variants on a range of web browsing tasks, which we will check out. So let's try to get it installed and then we will see how it works. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to our sponsors of the video who are iGenPot. iGenPot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support. And I will drop the link to their website in video description. So for this one, I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. And though I won't be needing a GPU card for this, but my machine has this GPU card, NVIDIA RTX 6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. You can also rent a GPU like me from them on fraction of cost. You can find the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50% in video's description. Okay, first step, let's create a virtual environment for reasoners. And they recommend to go with Python 3.10. So that is what I'm doing at the moment. Let's wait for it. Okay, so because this project works on Node, so we need to make sure that Node.js and npm is installed. I don't think so it is installed on my system, so I'm just first going to install it. And for that, the best tool is to go with NVM. As you can see that I have just installed that NVM. Let me also make it part of my bash profile so that it will be in the path that is done. And if I here to NVM, hopefully it will be showing me the version. There you go. So the version is there. Now let's install the LTS release of uh, Node.js and NPM. And that is just a single command to get it installed. So it is installing both Node and NPM. So now we can do the Node version and we can do the NPM version. Both are at the latest one. Okay, so our first prerequisites is done. Next up, we need to install Playwright. So, which is a web browsing automation library because it also does uh, web browsing. So that is why. So I'm installing Playwright at the moment. I believe 
it is already installed on my system but just for the sake of completion i'm just showing you all the commands which you need to do so you see that i already have installed prerequisites and then it is a simple pip install command to install play right here which is also done and then towards the end just to install all the dependencies and stuff you say playwright install to initialize it so node is installed npm is installed playwright is installed next up let's git clone the repo of llm reasoners and i will drop the link to it in video's description and that is also done once you are there all you need to do is to simply run it in editable format the pip command to install everything from their repo and that is going to take a minute or so and that is done now let's cd into the subdirectory of reasoner agent web and from there we need to install a few more requirements yes i know there are a lot of requirements I think it would be good if they could just make it one installation but anyway let's try to install it and that is installing browser gym and some stuff so let's wait okay so it took a fair bit of time but eventually it has been installed everything is ready now it is time to set our api key so i'm just going to set it in my environment variable if you're following along you can also grab your api key from platform.openai.com and it is a paid option so let me set it and clear the screen and now in order to run it all you need to do is to run this main.py from the root of this reasoner agent web by calling your api key and the question which i'm asking it to do research on is to plan a backpacking trip from sydney to melbourne so let me run it and it is now starting to do the research from different web pages and it is also telling you the cost around it you see that it is now doing the web scraping and that sort of stuff so let's wait for it to complete its research it is going to take a bit of a time it's going through different websites and it has returned me the response on the uh, terminal but i don't see that it has done much here it has definitely tried to search a lot of web pages and then it timed out you see so it has tried to search a lot of things and by default it stores its data in the repo in browsing data directory and if i open it this json file clearly shows me that there is not much there is a lot of history where it went and then which websites it checked but, and it has clicked a lot of clicks are there but what's the point if it hasn't done anything so you see there is no error but it didn't complete i don't i mean by complete i mean i don't see any proper answer there are efforts but i don't see much so i'm just going to give it one more chance and i'm going to give it a simple answer to see how it performs so i'm just going to ask it another question that who is current prime minister of australia so let's run it to see what it does this time so this is running but i i'm not sure if it is doing much you can see that it says that the search query current prime minister of australia 2025 which is good has been successfully entered into the search combo box in google's home page the search area is focused and all that stuff and then it is working it is even showing me the cost so the api is working too and then it says that timeout error maybe google is giving it timeout and not allowing it to do that web scraping maybe that could be the case you see it is going to that google.com so it is trying to make searches but i don't think so google is letting it do it so why not use something like DuckDuckGo or any thing else open source one why use google anyway i don't think so much is happening here as you can see and i'm just scrolling down quickly so it has completed and if i go to the here this is the last one there you go it says target crashed so i don't think so it is handling that properly maybe very early days of the project but i think um, they should release it when once they have resolved everything anyway let me know your thoughts on it uh, if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel 
If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.